Hey guys, how are you? Welcome. Come on in. There goes another phone. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Hello. Thanks guys. Hey Sherry, how are you? Let me bounce out of all this stuff, guys. So I can see comments. Hi, Jessica. Hey, Kim. Oh my gosh. Usually, you know, I always have this done ahead of time. But today has been a day already. I didn't think I'd be able to come live. But I wanted to. Um, so we could chat a little. You know, I love our chats. All right, let me, I think this is me. Oh, that was faster than I thought. Hey, Gwen, how are ya? All right. So we were out at a, the new build, um, which it didn't take longer than I thought, but, um, coming back and um, doing what I had to do to get ready took longer. <laughs> so I apologize. Usually all this behind the scenes stuff is done way before I even go live. Um, but I wanna, there's just one thing I wanna check. Um, I think one of the things I'm using is out of stock and I wanted to make sure before I said anything that that's the case. Oops. So welcome. Hey Julia. Hey Susan. How are you? And Stephanie. Come on in. Come on in. Thanks guys. All right. I think I'm done. I think I'm good. Let me put my website on there. Okay, easy, easy. Thanks, guys. Gwen, I think I just sent you a response. I hope you got it. I'm not sure if you were looking for anything else. All right, guys, hey, welcome. Come on in, come on in. We'll give it another minute. Um, we went live on Monday. Guys, that kit that I offered sold out minutes, minutes. It probably sold out before I ended the video. You got this word like on it. Um, and I would love to offer more of those kits. It was the pumpkin, the 3D pumpkin. But my vendor ran, uh, doesn't have those acorns anymore, those special acorns that I use. You can get them anywhere. You know, I only kind of buy the nicest kind. Um, but everything else is still available and I shared the links on my VIP lounge with, um, with y'all, but if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Um, I knew it was going to sell out pretty quick. Um, but thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that you all loved that project. Hey Deb, I really liked it too. Um, so today's project that we are going to work on, I just looked and Everything is in stock. Terry. Everything's in stock except the 6x18 um and I'm running out of room here guys. The 6x18 box frame is not available. Okay, it's out of stock. However, I do have an inventory. So if any of my VIPs or any of my Club Couture members want the box frame after you see the project, just message me, let me know. Uh, don't forget, my club members will get a discount. You won't pay full price. But I do have an inventory here. I do have a funny feeling <laughs> that when we did our Club Couture on the box frame this month, and all you went out and bought the box frame. Um, I think that had a lot to do with it going out of stock. They'll come back. There is not a date on when they'll be back, which means they don't they don't 
even had that three week window yet. So as soon as I hear about them coming back, I will let you know. However, you can do this project on any of our other surfaces. And I am using one of our smaller box frames. I'm using the five by seven as well, which is in stock. So today's keyword is hashtag. You need the hashtag, hashtag bones, B-O-N-E-S. Put that in the comment, hashtag bones, and you will get a supply list of the chocolate chair products that I'm using today. And all other products that I'm using will be posted in the VIP lounge later today. Okay? Good to go. Hey, Deb. So many Debs. I say hey, Deb, a lot just because there's so many Debs. Hello, hello. Hello, Diane. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Ah, thank you. Thank you. You can tell I was at a construction site earlier. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I was determined to go live and nothing was going to stop me, not even walking in, you know what I walked in to get to the build. So, all right, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do guys is let's go ahead and paint this box frame so it dries. I already painted the 6x18 box frame because... You don't need to watch paint dry. And I definitely wanted it to have a good coat and not have you all waiting. But let's go ahead. Now I'm not going to paint the inside of this like I did the, the six by 18, okay? It's gonna have just a little bit of a different look. We're gonna use two of the frames today, okay? So this is just chalk paint, is it chalk paint I'm using? Yep, chalkboard paint. How many, guys, how many times have I looked at this bottle while I have been live with you all? Sometimes I forget if it's the chalkboard or the acrylic because they have two bottles that are exactly the same. All right, so this is just black. And again, we are just going to paint the outside, not the inside on this one. So when we were out at the build today, we actually met with our new builder. They have moved our other builder um, someplace else in the DFW area. I don't even know where. Uh, which is fine. Um, it's all the same company. Um, but it's funny because like I have, um, you know, I love to decorate. <laughs> so I have to have like all the extra plugs and things, right? And he's like, do you really need 12 plugs on one wall? Like it was pretty comical. And Jeff was with me and of course he's shaking his head, right? But, um, the one thing that I absolutely have to have is um, outlets on my roof line for Christmas lights with the switch being inside the house, usually in the foyer. And our builder's like, you want what? So I didn't think it was like a special thing. I thought it was just like a normal thing to have, but apparently it's not. Do any of you have outlets on your roof line for Christmas lights? Or I don't know if you use them for anything else, but who ha does anybody have them? Let me know. Actually, I would really love to know because he was like, um, I never heard of that. And I'm like, I was just surprised and he um very good at his job he was very knowledgeable with everything else especially like when i questioned the swing of the doors i could really bother people and i try not to and i can see jeff like walking away but um i got a smile out of him which was good but the whole 
through client outlets he just didn't get and I don't understand why he didn't get it. Oh, that's not the same thing, Stacy. Yeah, so in the last house that we built, all right, so see, I just did the outside, okay? So in the last house that we built, we because, you know, I don't want all these extension cords, right? So, you know what, guys, am I backwards? I don't know if I'm backwards. I don't know if I flipped this around today. Um, so anyways, how come she says in my 42 and two dedicated outlets? Yes. It's not like, I mean, people know what they are, but I was surprised the builder didn't know what they were. But the architect, I mean, everything was put in place. Everything was there. So, I mean, it had gotten done, but it's just like, whatever. It's not unreasonable. I would prefer just to flip a switch. And, oh, thanks, Terry. <laughs> And I want to just flip a switch and I don't want to have to uh, have extension cords all over the place when I'm putting Christmas lights up. But that's just me. It's actually a lot safer. All right, guys. In our last house, we actually had um, a light switch from inside the house that went all the way down our walk and onto our mailbox because I wanted to illuminate the light box, the mailbox. But in this new neighborhood, the, the community mailboxes, just, that's like the in thing now, right? So um, we will not have a mailbox, but we will have lights outside. All right, I do this. Six by 18, I painted everything. I didn't paint the other side, but I painted everything, okay? So everything in the chalkboard paint, the frame and the inside, okay? I'm just gonna scuff it up just a little bit just because I just don't want it as shiny, but I'm not gonna go crazy, okay? I'm just the outside. stuffies today. We are. You haven't done stuffies in a while. All right. Let's go ahead and do the wax first. I did do, I already used the skeletons to stop the stuffies. So again, you guys wouldn't have to watch um, everything dry, but I'll show you how I did it. All right, so just a little bit of wax, wax on, wax off. And that's just gonna help pull this transfer up without distorting it, okay? Hi, Carrie, how are you? I know, you know, that's so funny that you said that, Terry, because I remember back in the day, living in the tundra, um, having to go through the bushes 
and plug everything in and and sometimes I was too lazy at night to go out and unplug everything if Jeff was traveling and I remember those days. It's not like that here in Texas. But we could get a good rainstorm. Alright, so I am just using the top part of this transfer. Again, if you type in hashtag bones in the comments, you'll see the list of the chocolate products that I'm using, okay? And remember, you can add to that cot link or delete from it to make it your own if you're gonna copy this project. You wanna make sure that you get all those air bubbles out. Terry, I'm sure you love the two different fonts on this. All right, this we are going to do, is that crooked? No. This we're gonna do in the bright white, okay? And we're gonna do it all white. Now, we could do Shimmer Frost. Um, we can also use our glow in the dark paste and I believe me when I first thought about doing this project I was going to use the glow in the dark on the skeletons. Uh, a designer, a designer on my team who lives in the area was doing a workshop and she, her glow in the dark paste didn't come in so I gave her mine. Um, so my backup hasn't come yet. But um, to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm shutting off lights and watching things glow in the dark. That's just me. But this whole project would look super cute with the glow in the dark paste on top of it. Like super cute, especially the skeletons. So we are just going to push all this through. So we're going to try and get all the inspections done that we can up to this point um, before they can start the actual drywall. He gave us a date today. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> but I would love to hold him to it. We all know what that's like, right? All right, pushed it all through. Squeegee up the excess. And let's just go ahead and peel this up. And then this does have um, a vintage type feel to it. And you'll see by the lettering up top, I'll show you. It's like a more scratchy. I know it's, they say vintage to me, it's more like scratchy looking. Terry was supposed to be. We're supposed to be. We will see what happens. All right, guys. So there's that one. All right. So give me some hearts if you like it so far. And I don't need the white anymore. And the funny thing is, is I gave away so many of my decorations when we sold the house that, um, like, I don't, I, I don't even know 
what I have anymore. Um, I I know I got a, I did um, give away a lot of things where I knew I wasn't doing the same colors anymore. Um, but honestly, even since because of the um, hold up, like I've changed my mind on some things. So I don't know where I'm going with any of it. They put it all in a dumpster and stop new. All right, guys, let's do some stuffies. So, well, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's dry this. Then we can do it all at the same time. Hi, Debbie. How are you? All right, so again, on the larger one, I colored the inside black. This one I'm leaving white. placement tape so um, I want to get the edges And let's talk about our mystery bundles. So, so many of you guys have taken advantage of it. Um, Chalk came out with it, was it yesterday, guys? I think it was yesterday. So they have a mystery bundle. Um, it's a holiday bundle. And it's all retired transfers. And you get 10 transfers, two of each size. So if you're new to Chalk Couture, our sizes range from A size, which is five by seven, to our E size, which is 18 by 24. And so you get two of each transfer mystery, 50% um, 50 50 off y'all. So it's $120, 119 something. Um, which is an unbelievable price, especially if you are new to Chalk Couture to get 10 transfers at that price. Remember, they are all reusable, guys. Hey, Laura, how are you? Um, so if, um, if you're looking to stock up on some holiday transfers, it is a great deal. They actually have offered it to designers as well, which is awesome. All right, so this one, this one I'm going to do a little bit different. Oh my gosh, guys, I got paste all over the place. You know, I took that piece of glass off that I had on here because of the reflection. It's so much easier to clean glass than this. All right, so we're gonna use the same transfer, but we're gonna use the bottom half, okay? Um, 
So we are just going to use Hey Boo, and then I'm going to put one of these guys on top, okay? So what do I always say? When I see a transfer, I always try to think of how differently I can use it. So. Just gonna try and get. Well, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, I just want Hey Boo. Well, I think I might put it off to the side too. I actually might use this guy on it. All right. So for this, I am going to use black. So if you do any kind of um, Halloween gift giving for littles, um, this right here, these little guys would look great on our mini tags, or tag minis, however you want to say it. Um, but the, and you can use the glow in the dark paste, that would be really cute. Alright, so we got that. do I want to use? I think. I do think I want to use that guy. All right, let's go ahead and dry this so I don't pull it up. We're gonna use the same, we're gonna use black, okay? Now that would be really cute with the um, glow in the dark paste. All right, do you like it so far? And then we're not done. So what I want to do on this is we're going to put some skeleton hands on it with some chain. So if you remember last year when I used these, you have to make sure that they are going in the right direction. Like remember I had to like so I'm doing it wrong already. So if I was looking at it, this is me just being crazy, guys. Yep. This goes this way. 
Hold on, girl. Let me do it this way. Hold on. This one has a lot of white space on this side. difficult, right? Oh, this just has so much more white down here. We're going to add a little chain to it, too. You know, that has more space, but I really do like it up here better. So I'm just going to do it because We will be here all day for me trying to figure out where I want to put that. All right, let's close this up. We're done with all our paste. And let's get some stuffies going. All right, so now the stuffies, um, you have all seen me do stuffies before. So what I did... Um, but I'll show you. I wanted to do it ahead of time. I used one of my favorite tea towels that you all know and love. These are 20 by 30s, okay? So they're really huge, guys. Um, and I used chalk paste. I didn't use ink because my stuffies aren't going to get wet. So I just used chalk paste, okay? using those skeletons. And then I just went ahead and I pasted it on the tea towel, okay? Doubled it up because we're making stuffies, okay? So what you wanna do is, once you have them down on your towel, you are just gonna, now I didn't get close to them because I didn't want them thin. I kind of cut around them, okay? So, this is the best pot. You don't, you're really not trying to match anything up. So you don't have to get it that thin, okay? So I kind of just squiggly cut. I came up with a new word during my walk through today. What was it? Shelly. Shelly. Oh, he was looking at me. All right, so for the master, my closet. Um, all right, so see, I didn't cut, I didn't cut close to the bones, to the bones. I kind of went around it and just gave it some curve. Gave him or her a little curve. Um, so I told him I didn't um, want them doing anything to inside my closet because I'm going to have the closet done, like professionally done. Um, so because we switched builders, I wanted to make sure that um, he knew because I had already told the other, I, I guess not really a builder, supervisor, right? So I had already told the other supervisor this, and I just wanted to make sure he didn't come in blasting with shelves and bureaus and things like that inside the closet. So, and I had gotten a credit back because I'm not using 
because I'm keeping it shelly. So I was trying to say I want it open, but I wasn't thinking open. And I, I was like, oh my God, I, what's the word that I'm like, I, I want it. Sh I don't want any shelves or anything in here. And he's like, looking at me. I'm like, I kind of want it naked. Well, it's not really naked. And I'm going on and on and on. And he's like, so we're not putting anything in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like an open shelf, like it, like it's a shell, like it's just open. Like I want everything open. Um, he one on each. Oh, you know what? We did that. We did that last year. We did it like this. Remember? We could do that too. Who's that? Terry. That's actually a great idea. We did that last year. We'll think about that and actually I could drop the chain all right so we cut this out okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wax and so this guy that I met for the first time today is probably went away from our meeting going We got in the car and I said, Jeff, that went well, right? And Jeff's looking at me like, like the good news is um, everything seems to be in place and there's no surprises anymore. Now, could there be surprises later? Absolutely, like this glue is not going through. And it was earlier because I did them all. Hold on, guys. Oh, you know what? It's not hard enough. It's not hard enough. I'm going to have to use my other glue gun. Hold on. Just push it through. All right, so we're going to glue up one side. stuffy. Those that need to be stuffed. But this is just not giving me what I need it to do right now. I think there's actually glue stuck in it. We're gonna put chains on these guys too. You can stuff these as much or as little as you want, okay? This would be look awesome on your tea trays too. And because there's like curves, how we cut it curvy, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. And if you want it to be bigger and puffier, just, um, you know, cut it wider. Okay.
always better off wearing protection, right? So you don't want to burn your fingers, guys. You know what to do. That's one more. Now we're going to add some chain to it. This one, let's do this one, this way. All right, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna glue, hot glue some of this chain to the back, okay? do the same thing. Today, it, hey guys, if you are joining for the September craft along, to, today is the last day to get your products. Um, oops in order for me to get you those free embellishments um, because I have to have a final count. So I know some of you still um, purchase today. And of course, the more the merrier. Right, I think my glue has like gotten into a ball or something. Now it's not going through. You don't need a lot of glue, you just want to make sure that everything is closed so you don't see the stuff coming out. I think there is a ball. And I don't want to put the, oop, yeah, I think there was like a ball or something. Same thing, we're going to stuff this one. 
So now you can make as many of these as you want. I think there's five guys. One, two, three, four. There's five of them, but you can make four, you can make seven. I mean, you can keep it going. But I think these stuffies would look really cute like on a tear tray. Maybe we'll save some for um, the tear tray that we're gonna do. Let's close it up. that dry and then we're going to do another piece. this probably right in the middle. When I do use the glue on this, I try to glue at least two of the links, okay? And because it's black, you can be messy and you're not going to see it. I mean, you're not going to see the back anyways because technically this will be hanging on a wall. So you won't see the black anyways. All right. Let's do this now. All right, Terry, I remember we did this last year. We... Did it like this. So I can do this. Wait a minute. Yep. We can do this and I can have a chain. That would be good. Oh, we can do it like that. Good idea, Terry. some chains on it too.
actually on these um, pans, there is actually a hole in them. It's a pre-drilled hole. So if you use these, you can um, easily put the chain right through it if you wanted to. So I'm gonna have this go in front, so probably right here. Let's see if that works. See if I have it just cut. because it's hot glued in. I'm just going to keep it. All right. All right, so that's one. Good idea, Terry. All right. So we'll bring the chains into it. All right, so there's that with that chain, okay? Then let's put this together now. So I was thinking that I would put like I'm envisioning this um, hanging. Guys, I just like broke my nail all the way down. Um, like I was envisioning this like hanging on a wall, okay? Using black ones, you know, you can get these in any color. Well, wow, that really hurt. I like broke my nail all the way down. Let's do this and then we'll decide if we're going to do ribbon. So I'm, it's going to be twisting while I'm showing you, but once it's up against the wall, it would it will stay in place. So I think this one I kind of want like that. This one we're going to do like that. So we could add another one if we wanted like even, but I didn't want to do even. So super cute, especially guys, if you're going to use the um, glow in the dark paste. All right, so maybe. do the 
something again. All right, corner, corners, or one side. Corners or one side, what do you guys think? Corner, hi Cheryl, corners or one side? you guys think? One on each side. Oh, that's from before. <laughs> I was reading you saying, I can't believe that hurts guys. I think one side. Susan here says one side. I think that might be too wide. So I'm thinking Susan's right. I think you're right. Girlfriend, one side, yep. You see that? Spooky. How weird that that just did that. And I think I'm going to give this a little bit of chain too. Just because it's got um, the holes in it, so I want to put something there. All right, and everybody who is participating in the transfer train, it is on the move again. Um, I'm still waiting on the final pictures. Um, that doesn't mean you need to rush. She, she's watching. Um, but the next recipient is anxiously awaiting for its arrival. We can see the newest piece of artwork. white on black is nice. You know, you can use any of our Halloween, like the purples you could use. So. And you could, you can go over all of this with the glow in the dark paste too. So, there's that. All right. It's going to be hard for me to show you, but I promise I will take a picture so you get the really, you'll get to realize how it's supposed to look, but I got you, boo. Right, just pretend these aren't like dangling all over the place. All right. So they're going to be up against a wall. This is pro probably the only way for me to show you. Maybe if I just go like this, would you be able to see it? Can you guys see it? I don't know if you can see it. Can you please the skeleton hands in the ground? <gasps> That's a good idea. It is moving along. 
<laughs> that is a good idea. All right, and then this kind of would be on the side. On a tea tray, it doesn't go like this, guys. But just so you get an idea. I promise I will take better pictures. Like I'll put it up on a wall so you can see it. Guys, I, my whole fingernail just like ripped all the way down and I didn't scream. But as soon as I shut this video off, guess what's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, you can't, oh good. This, and guys, you can, like, if you wanted to do this, like, in a classroom with kids' names, your grandkids, like, you can make, you can keep these skeletons going. You can make as many or as few skeletons as you want. But these stuffies, I kind of did it for a couple of reasons. I did it for this project. But also, these would look awesome on the tier trays. Don't forget that. I'm going to, the tier tray um, kit that we have, I'm actually going to paint it black and um, do a Halloween theme because I have so many white tear trays already. So I'm gonna paint that one black and we'll probably use some of these stuffies and I'll probably stuff them more and put something on the bottom so they stand up. But that's all it was. It was one of um, the tea towels. Pretty good, right? Yeah, that's so not the right way to do it. I promise I will take a good picture of it. All right, so keyword for today is hashtag bones. Hashtag bones, you will get a list of the Chalk Couture products that I use today, okay? Um, just a reminder, this frame is out of stock. I do have inventory. So if you're part of my VIP group or if you're in my club uh, Couture, you'll get a discount. Um, but I do have inventory if somebody does want to duplicate this, okay? But everything else is in stock. I'm going to paint. It's wicked cute. Yeah, so I'm going to paint mine. Now, you can actually sand it down, too. if um, Because it's like all that pot, that wood that we use. So you can actually sand it down if you want a more rustic look. But because I have so many white ones, and this has... Um, I've got stuff on it. Um, it has the black iron, so black would be really pretty, I think. I think so. All right, hashtag bones. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Um, let me know what you think, okay? Don't forget, if you are joining us. Oh, this is what I was talking about. It just has to be there. Um, these are the tags, so if you need to make Halloween gifts, like these little skeletons look cute on these, okay? Um, but if you are joining us for, I, I tried to put a, somebody asked for a close-up of this, and it wouldn't let me post a picture today. I don't know why, I gotta go back. I wasn't able to post a picture of my own group page. But this has the drift edge on it, so if you're joining us, or if you want to join us for the September craft along. Remember, all those embellishments are free. Pro you have to purchase the products by today is the last day, okay? J just so I can make sure I have enough and get them all out in the mail so we can do the project together, okay? All right, guys, Club Couture. If you know anybody who wants in on Club Couture this month, you know how much I love this month's transfer. Next, next month is really awesome, too. And I am actually giving away the kit that we did this month um, with our um, club transfer. So if you want to join the club, please message me or just in the comments write club and I will get information to you, okay? That's it, guys. Love to all. I think I need like a glass of wine. Like, I'm envisioning plugs that I missed today, although I don't think my size house has seen this many plugs. Oh, and every light switch has a dimmer. Like every single one, closets and everything. The guy thinks I'm crazy. Love y'all. Bye guys.